I do love a cathedral cloister. This one here at Salisbury is no exception. Keeps me sheltered as well from the uh, inclement weather outside at the moment. Now these cloisters were built just after the cathedral was completed. Salisbury Cathedral was built from 1220 to 1258. And these cloisters completed about five years later. It's about the early 1260s. In the middle of the cloisters, in the cloister garden, is the Cedar of Lebanon. This cedar tree planted the year Queen Victoria came to the throne in 1837. These cloisters were aesthetic. They weren't monastic cloisters. They didn't lead to places in a monastery because there wasn't a monastery here. The abbot's house, dormitories, scripture rooms, infirmary. No, they didn't lead to any of those places. They were just used for processions and lessons. They are the largest cathedral cloisters in the country. As we walk around towards the chapter house where you find Magna Carta, a 1215 version, an original. Although I can't film in there, you're not allowed to film in there. We'll stop instead and have a look at the cathedral tower and spire. Tallest in the country, 404 feet. That's 123 meters. Salisbury Cathedral and its beautiful cloisters.